Hey everybody, Sister Fantastic here, and today's video is going to be inspired by Disney, and I'm going to do uh, Minnie Mouse, and this is a collab with my friend uh, Gigi, and her channel is As Told by Gigi 101, and I'll link that below so that you can find her and find out what she's doing that's inspired by Disney. So I'm just going to get right into this. Today we've got um, uh, the, Smash, the Smashbox primer, and I'm going to use this. Uh, photo finish foundation primer. It's oil free pore minimizing primer and it's summertime Here in Tennessee we've got some hot days right now And so I'm at that time of the year where my skin's just a tad bit oily in the t-zone uh, especially and so I want to try and use a matte finish Foundation and I need some help with keeping my pores closed and you know minimized and what have you. So I'm gonna do what I can here today. Minnie Mouse, the Minnie Mouse that we met when we were on our honeymoon uh, down in Disney World. Of course, she had on a it was a full-bodied costume, like a puppet, a live puppet, and. Uh, well, you know that thing had to be hot. Anyway, I don't have a costume, but I've got makeup, so I'm going to try to transform myself um, somewhat, not completely, but somewhat, into Minnie Mouse. This feels like silk going on your face. I've never used this before, and I was surprised to see that it was a like a flesh color. <clears throat> And it just feels like powder or something going on your face. It's just that silky. All right. So anyway, I'm gonna. I just, it's a little sample that I received in a recent haul uh, from Ulta. So I'm just gonna use that over the next two or three days. All right. Let me get right into this today. I'm gonna be using the Maybelline Fit Me uh, Matte Poreless uh, Formula in the color. It's normal to oily and the, the color is 120 Classic Ivory. Ah, I'm getting it all over my bow. I didn't want to do that, y'all. I put on my hat and my bow to save time. Let me just go ahead and rub this in. And get the forehead done. Then I can go into the other parts of the face, so that way I can let go of this bow. No. Well, these little scarves wash out really easy, but I sure didn't want my bow to be messed up. See my hat, y'all? Says Lori. I got this when I was. Uh, we were on our honeymoon. We went to Disney World, and that was 30 years ago, y'all. We celebrated our 30th wedding anniversary just last week. So we went to Epcot Center and MGM Studios, and we stayed at um, we stayed in Kissimmee, and we just commuted back and forth in our car every day. But anyway, it was really neat how it happened. These friends of ours had tickets for five days. It was a five-day pass, and uh, they had had them for. A while several years I think and they just wanted their money back and so anyhow the tickets at that current time were being sold for quite a bit more than what they had paid for them but anyway we were so blessed they sold us their tickets just for what they paid for them they didn't want to make a profit off of us they just wanted to get their money back and they wanted to make it possible for us to go to Disney World and so we paid for the tickets. We had five days. And let me tell you, after three days of being on our feet and walking around in all those amusement parks and, you know, seeing everything, I mean, you, you know, you just, you're ready for something different. So, you know, we went on to spend the rest of our time on our honeymoon at places like uh, uh, SeaWorld. And we went to this place called Xanadu, which was like a modern uh, solar operated house. And we went to a zoo. and. And we went to some dinner attractions like Medieval Times and and just some things like that. And 
So anyhow, the other two days that were left on our, I'm just going to try to build this up a little bit better. The other two days that were left on our five-day pass, we sold them to our hotel manager at the Maple Leaf. It was in Kissimmee, and uh, he was so nice, and he paid us um, what we paid for the whole five days. And I guess he felt like he could make a profit just off those, you know, two days worth, you know, what he was spending to, you know, buy them back from us. So anyway, so that was like, we didn't have, at that point, we didn't have any money invested in the tickets at all because we made our money back. And so it was like we went to Disney World for free. It was really awesome the way God worked that out for us. And then, so, you know, like I said, we went to SeaWorld, which I just love SeaWorld. And the dolphins especially, they just interact with you and they'll tease you, you know, they'll splash you in the face with the water and then laugh at you and, you know, just fun, really fun stuff. Was, okay, I'm going to go in with the Fit Me um, powder. This is in 130. It's a set and smooth powder, normal to dry skin. Just gonna well before I do that let me put a little bit of concealer on. I'm gonna use the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the 110 uh, light or 10 light, whatever this is. So anyway, medieval times, I was gonna tell you about this dinner attraction, medieval times, it was really fun. There was um jousting matches and it was set up like a castle with the king and and there were the not the knights that got on the horses and you know you know jousting with um, whatever you call those things those big pokey sticks <laughs> and uh, so anyhow and they competed and of course when you come in and you buy your ticket and you sit down it's set like a stadium with tables in front of everybody and you eat um, you know, stuff like Cornish game hens and roasted potatoes and, you know, they feed you a really nice meal. And you, they have waitresses. They call, they call them winches. Anyway, they had on peasant blouses that come down around their shoulders and, and, uh, it was just set up just like it was back then, you know, in those days. And so anyway, at the end of the competition, the night that won, that won, he got to um, kiss the princess. So that was like the king's daughter. So it was real chivalrous and, you know, kind of barbaric in a way because they didn't give you any utensils to eat with. You just have like these pewter plates and cups and stuff and, um, you know, you're just eating with your fingers and it's just, basically it's just chicken and potatoes and carrots and I forgot what all, but anyway, everything was you know, real casual. And it was fun. It was really fun. We had a good time. And we got our picture made with the king and all that. But anyway, back to Disney World. Um, the thing that I really liked the best, other than the fireworks show at Epcot Center, was um, the parade. So if you ever get to go, I mean, the rides are fun and all that kind of stuff. There's a lot of shops to shop at and all that. But um, the rides, the rides are a lot of fun. Okay, I mean, uh, what was I saying? Not the rides, the uh, the the parade. The parade was real interesting because you get to see all the characters. You know, when you walk around Disney World, you know you might run into one here or there, or you, you know, or whatever. But as you, um, I'm going in with this blush now, Mana Kadar, in the color Paradise Blush. That's what it looks like. And so, anyway, you get to see all the characters, you know, and wave at them and everything. Anyway, it was a lot of fun. When I was a little girl, I'm going to tell you all a story. When I was a little girl, I was about, I don't know, three years old. These are some of my earliest memories, my earliest childhood memories. There was a show on TV called The Mickey Mouse Show. And uh, they would sing this song. M-I-C-K-E-Y-M-O-U-S-E, -E Mickey Mouse, you know, and so anyway, they would introduce, you know, the kids, the teenagers that were on the show, 
um, and they would all interact and all that. Anyway, it was black and white TV back then, you know, back in the day when there was only about three or four channels. And there was no such thing as a remote. And the milkman delivered milk on the doorstep in bottles. Every day. So, anyway, the Mickey Mouse show was on TV every day. And I used to watch that. And I used to watch Romper Room. And I used to watch... Oh, I can't remember what I used to watch when I was a kid. The Cat and Kangaroo show. And, you know, shows like that. All right, now we have um, this eye look to create, and Minnie Mouse, she doesn't really have a whole lot of eye makeup on. If you look at her really closely, um, you know, she wears eyeliner, and she's got eyelashes, and so I just want to kind of mimic, you know, what she, what she does, and so I'm going to put on some blue eyeliner today. And I've got this pencil here by Specialize. It's a Micro Pure Slim Liner in Sapphire Blue. And here's the cap for that. So it's just a little pencil. And it fits on together like this. So anyway, I'm going to attempt to do some blue eyeliner. And Minnie Mouse and Mickey Mouse both have, um, you know, their ears. So I put my ears on. And she wears a bow, usually, either in red or pink with polka dots. And I didn't have anything for polka dots, but I did want to uh, wear a bow. So I, anyway, I put some bobby pins in my, you know, to keep all this on my head. And then their face, if you notice that their faces have, um, like, it's like a widow's peak in black. And it comes around their cheeks like this, you know, like contouring almost. It comes around like this, and then it goes down to, to you know, reveal. And the white part of their face is just, you know, kind of like a heart shape. But anyway, I'm not going to fill in my face with all that black today. I might if I was going like to a costume party or something like that, but um, I'm not going to do all that today for time's sake. But I am going to put on a little eyeshadow and uh, just to, you know, help Minnie Mouse along. She needs, I think she needs eyeshadow. I think she needs eyebrows too, but anyway, if I have time, I'll do eyebrows at the end. So I'm just going to use a blending brush today, and I'm going to go in with this uh, Clean Color uh, uh, Baked Wet Dry Baked Eyeshadow in American Idol. American Idol is the color, which is like a uh, it's a matte teal color. There's what it looks like, and it kind of matches my blouse. And I'm just going to put some of this kind of low on the lid. Because if you look at Minnie Mouse, she really doesn't have a lot of eyeshadow on at all. It looks like it's just mostly eyeliner. And I really don't want to pack this on. I just want to enhance that liner and just kind of bring a little hue to the eye. Just kind of blend that in a little bit and just kind of you know help define the eye a little bit <clears throat> I like Minnie Mouse and her little polka dotted dresses And I like the characters because they wear those little white gloves, and that just really makes them look more animated. So if I was going to do this, 
like for Halloween or for um, some sort of a costume or masquerade party. You know, I would go all out with the black on the face, and then I would try to find a, a red dress with the white polka dots and, um, you know, put some white gloves on and wear some little black heels of some sort, you know, and really just spruce it up. Okay, now I just want to go over that with some of this frosty blue. This is um, another American icon color from Clean Color uh, it's called Smoky Blue. So I'm just going to use that same brush. And this has got kind of a frost to it. Anyway, I just want to kind of go over that. Just add a little bit more of a bluish tone. Back in the 50s and the early 60s, um, blue eyeshadow was popular. So it doesn't surprise me, you know, that Minnie Mouse back then would choose, you know, that the creator of the cartoon, Minnie, would choose, um, you know, a blue, blue eye look. And back then it was a classic red lip. You know, and so she took on the classic red lip. All right, so. And then I'm just going to do a little brow bone highlighting in this uh, American Icon um, by Clean Color. It's another baked wet dry eyeshadow that I have. And this is uh, a white color. And the name of it is uh, Pearl. So I'm just going to grab another brush here. Grab a little fluffy brush and just put some white eyeshadow. And this has kind of got a frost to it, so this will just help make that blue eyeshadow pop a little bit. And I'm not really going for a lot of pigment today. I just want to, you know, a little subtle, little subtle eye look here. Because it's all about the liner and the lashes for many. And then, of course, the lips. All right. Now, let's go on with some mascara. And today, I'm going to be using the new um, L'Oreal voluminous uh, lash paradise mascara and this is in the color black and they say this is a dupe for the better than sex mascara by Too Faced and it has this huge you know wand here with these I mean there's a ton of bristles so with the lengthening and the volumizing that this kind of a wand offers. I'm sure we're going to see the results really quickly. But I'm not going to stop at mascara today. I'm going to put lashes on. some on the bottom.
probably not going to labor on that too long. I don't want to lose track of time playing with mascara. But anyway, we've got a good start here on the look. <clears throat> All right, now let's work on these uh, these lashes. I'm gonna I'm gonna use the Cara lashes, and uh, this is the number 505. And you can see I already have them trimmed and ready to go. So I'm just going to put some glue on this. I'm using the lash grip and the waterproof. And I'm going to let that get tacky and I'm going to try to get these on in one try today. I am not that skilled at lashes yet, but I am trying. And these have a really thin band, so the, there's not going to be a whole lot of glue that's going to be actually sticking to the band. So, but I am going to try to apply it evenly and then let it get tacky. And I, I like to use my tweezers to apply these. And one end is more uh, longer than the other. Y'all hear my husband, he's out there mowing the grass. While we were out of town last week, the weeds grew like a foot. So he's trying to take care of that. All right, let's try to do this in one try. Sticking to my finger. This is why I use the tweezers, because the glue always sticks to my fingers. And it's really not down low enough like I like it. But anyway. It's stuck, so I'm rolling with it. Y'all can tell I need more practice with this. Okay, there's one. Woohoo, one down, one to go. <laughs> you can't do Minnie Mouse without eyelashes. She's just not Minnie Mouse without eyelashes. I mean, if you don't do anything else, you gotta do eyeliner and eyelashes and the lipstick. But I like these little lashes right here. They only cost a dollar at the Shop Miss A website. And uh, you can use them, you know, four or five times. Or more if you can take care of them, but I never they always tear up on me or I lose one or something. Okay, so we're just gonna try to let this get tacky. And usually the left eye goes on easier for me usually. So hopefully this time will be no different.
as my nephew says. Gonna hold it still. Ah. See, this is what happens. That glue is going to dry down. And I just don't want to touch it. All right. This one's kind of more out, and this one's more up, but anyway. Y'all can tell I need practice. But anyway, be nice to me in the comments. Please be nice. I'm trying to be brave here. All right, I'm going to put on some of this um, glow. I got some glow here today. The Rainbow Highlighter from Wet n Wild. This is the new one. It's called Color Icon Rainbow Highlighter. And this is the Limited Edition Everlasting Glow is the name of it. So anyway, I'm just going to go in with a, with a brush and I'm just going to put a little of this on the tops of my cheeks. Cupid's bow, and now I'm going to finish off with this lip. So I'm going to go in with this Jante Blue lip liner, and uh, this is called color Hot Red 947 Hot Red. So anyway, I want I want to tell y'all a little joke. What do you get when you cross a preacher with a makeup artist? preacher who needs an ink pen with a makeup artist who has a red lip liner. You get a red lip liner marking in the preacher's wedding manual book. Ah. That actually happened this last weekend. My husband needed a pen. And I just happen to have this lip liner in my purse. And he helped himself and he got the lip liner out and he used it to mark in his um, the book that he was using for the wedding vows. So now there's a red... Okay, and I'm going to go in with this Wet n Wild uh, lipstick. This is called um, Just Kissed, I believe. Or kiss me one or the other. A little 
little animated look here. 